2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter David Aldridge. We'll see the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Chicago Bulls. And it's going to be the Bulls out the tip. All fueled up and ready to go. Check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. So on the floor for Cleveland, LeBron in love with a deadly forward pair. I knew it out there with Jordan Clarkson. And it's Thompson in the pivot spot, manning the middle. It's LeBron with the drive. Inside, Thompson. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. And I tell you what, guys, I think that's the best part of James's game. And he's got a lot of good parts, but his vision is otherworldly. Pippen kicks to Jordan. Back to Pippen. Pippen slams it in. Incredible reverse throwdown. Excellent body control. And guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation dunk. Oh, memorable. Keep that one in the career highlight reel for sure. Now, here's Clarkson. Over Vincent. And the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. Mesmerizing and stupefying the defense. Clarkson guards out space from mid range. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. No good from Grant. And you know what? You can't get a better screen. Freeze him up beautifully, but he just fails to capitalize. Clearly a frustrating missed opportunity there. Perfect screen. Got him the space he needed. But Here's Jordan following the basket by LeBron James. Here's Vincent. Pops one in from the wing. Vincent's got his first points of the game. On defense, Chicago. The screen from Thompson. Outside hood. This is it to LeBron. Fires the three. And Hood with the basket on the assist by James. Hood's got his first three points in the game. Michael Jordan up away. Pippen, the pass to Jordan. Green shot on the way. And he hits the jump shot. Gotta like how they've come out here. I mean, connecting on four of their first five shots. Yes, let's go. They set the screen. Here's LeBron. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. That one on Pippen. Yeah, I like how James takes it to the defense. Even if they're all over him, he just muscles it past them. Free throw good, James. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Pippen, the pass to Vincent. Pippen uses to Jordan. For Hood, and the Bulls can't got him two more. Nice way to start the evening. His number's getting called. And for good reason. Well, you know, Greg, they can count on him to get buckets. I mean, he's getting the ball because he's very efficient when he has it. Now, here's Clarkson. A shot by LeBron. No good. The drive by Jordan. That one, no good. Good D by Love. Kicks it to Clarkson. No good from outside. Chicago trailing here. Dishes it to Jordan. Pass to Vincent. The trade. And James pulls it down. David Aldridge had a chance to catch up with head coach Teron Lou. Hey, what do you have to say? Thanks, Kevin. He said, look, all they talked about before this game was defense. Going up against one of the best offensive teams in the league, he said, it's a challenge that we embrace. Nobody can do it by themselves. It's got to be a collective effort. No hero ball on offense either. The guys, we'll see if they can put the ice on you. It's never easy. Back to you. Thanks as always, David. Well, they know what their toughest job is going to be. Yeah, Kevin, it's always hard to work against a team that can light it up like this. You, you can't let them hit the ground running. Exactly. I mean, they've got to be the ones dictating the tempo and, and the pace. Keep the high-octane offense on the other side and check. Nancy's checked in for Tristan Thompson. Here's Jordan. And again, Chicago. No good. For Chicago, they won their last contest that game against the Pistons. A shot's good from Nance. Boy, you gotta love that assist by LeBron. Grant outside. Here's Vincent, and he hits it to tie the game up. Vincent's got five. How on earth did they let him get that wide open? James again. 
Young's Pippen. That's going to be out of bounds. The Cavaliers will retain possession. Shot clock at five. He ends the screen. That's a two from Hood. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Hood's got a second base in the game. Some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Head shot off. Good D by Lott. Pippen against LeBron. Ball's not loose. It's a big five off. The pass to Hood. Let's it go from deep. He can't get that one to fall. And it's Chicago the other way. Hartnett, the pass to Vincent. Another three for Chicago. There's six points on consecutive three balls. Outside the other. Back to Love. Shoots over Kirkpike, and he gets the bucket. Boy, Love is really good at getting inside the paint. Establishing position has an excellent feel for how to score around the basket. Now here's Pippen from deep. Jordan, the shot's good on the assist by Pippen. Pippen's got three assists in the game. The Cowboys is trailing. Three second difference between shot clock and game. Pippen with the jam. And that's how to make an impact with defense. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to be scattered. And that replay brought to us by Under Armour. Another Unleashed Chaos moment. One of the more exciting plays in basketball. And he banks in the lane. And now a six-point Bulls lead. Man, it's just been an avalanche of points here in the early game. Yeah, you know, both teams scoring at a really steady clip. If you like good offense, you've come to the right spot. This is your game. And so it's the Chicago Bulls. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage for the field so far has been terrific. Well, not exactly a close game so far, but as the second quarter starts here, plenty of time. The Cavaliers trail by nine. Green is out there with Batson. Then it's Cartwright. Then there's Pip. And it's Hazel in the four-man position. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. And, you know, that pass wasn't deflected or anything, Kevin. Don't see that often. An unfortunate, unforced turnover. Here is Pets. They lead by the biggest margin of the game. Huh? And here's Green outside. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. And good passing. Setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Time dropping the lights is what I call it. All right, that is a nice pass. I will get up here. Yeah, he's on the money. That's no doubt. It's a pick by Love. Here's him. Lock at four. Let's the free fly. It's tipped. Maxon kicks to Pippen. It's a slam dunk by Pippen. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants to. Oh, you're right. Yeah, with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. Maxon gets to green. Here's the screen. Here's Pippen. The shot that time, not on target. Good D by James. He dishes it to Hill. It's a pick by Love. Hill kicks to Corbin. Now the feed to Nance. Love with the screen for Hill. Again, missing Hill. Chicago leading by 14. And here's the call on James. That's his first foul. These are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yes, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. 
And the Cavaliers making a change here. Timeout, timeout. Thompson's checked in. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Cavaliers. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. And once they established that flow offensively, really never got any resistance from the deep. And you know, Greg, they were sinking shots left and right, and that's got oh, to God. be demoralizing for the defense. They were in the real zone. Off the run. It will not find the hoop. It's his third miss. He has made two. Yeah, I mean, he's been orchestrating the whole game at a high level. Yeah, making his teammates better through his passing, Greg. You know about that because you did it. Great job sharing the ball. Oh, well, I appreciate it, partner. Always important to have somebody keep rhythm in the game. Outside Corver. Good, the assist goes to Hill. Corver's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Pass to Baxter. There's the three, hits the three point five. And the Bulls lead by 18. Uh, okay, we got a nice little back and forth going here. Yeah, and I like it. I love seeing that. It's a lot of fun when that happens. These teams are going at each other from the outside. Thompson dishes to Hill. The 15 footer. And it's Haslam with the rebound. The Bulls leading by 18. Here's Pippen. The layup off target. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in with the circus move. Mm, so smooth. He could have messed that up trying for a big slam. Nice work. Boy to the layup. And defensively, great anticipation, making a play there on the ball. Well, the thing they did there, Greg, clogged up the passing lanes, playing them beautifully and making things hard for the opponent. That's really good defense. Hill kicks to Thompson. Pick up by Hill. Not loose. Thompson passes to Corbin. Just five on the clock. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Thompson with the bucket. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. And that one, good. Good job putting the pass in front of him. Throw it where he's supposed to be, not where he is. Paving the way right to the bucket. Hands a screen on him. Hands out of bounds. The Cavaliers are able to retain position here. So for the Bulls. Grant comes in for Bill Cartwright. And it's Jordan in for Danny Green. Hooked away. Left side, Nance. Plays it up off the glass. Well, I love watching the ball get into the post. Reminds me of my days doing work down there. When you have this kind of positioning, scoring is simple. And the jam by Nas Haslam. And a terrific percentage here in the first half. You, you got to love their rhythm and the flow with which they're playing. I agree with you. I mean, they just look comfortable out there, taking what the defense gives them and, and then capitalizing with, with no real problem at all. Tell you what, Kevin, it would be helpful if he would start to contribute a little more on offense because when he's missing, it makes it really hard for this team. Haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness here. And if it doesn't, this is only going to get uglier. I mean, that's no way to defend a player of his caliber. Vincent's checked in for Baxter. 127 left here in the second. Feeds to LeBron. Pick up by Hill. It's Pippen with the drive, and he uses the glass on the lane. Pippen's got 15. Indicative of what we've seen tonight. One team being the aggressor, the other failing to react. Yeah, and you can tell they feel like they can get inside whenever they want to. I mean, it's been carte blanche, full menu for them, and the defense really not offering any resistance. Sloppy is the only way you can describe his play thus far. Just way too many turnovers. For the Cavaliers, Kevin Love's checked in for Tristan Johnson. Hood comes in for James. And it's Jordan Clarkson in for George Hill. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. Nobody even close to him, and he can't believe he doesn't knock it down. The dish to Hood. 
We've got 22 seconds left in the first half. And the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. I tell you what, it reminds me of one of my college coaches. He used to say, that ain't going to get it done. That's five straight baskets in the paint now. <laughs> and so it's Chicago. Ahead by 26 points as we get ready for the break. And they've created a bunch of turnovers with that terrific D. Back right after this. Back to the action now. It's been a one-team show so far. We'll see if that changes here in the third. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. Oh, well, they've done a good job of letting the game come to them. And really few four shots here so far. And, you know... with the ball. Checking out the group for Teron Liu to start the second half. Inside, we got the tenacious love in Thompson. Clarkson is out there with good. And it's James in at the three spot. Back to Jordan. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Rodney Hood. Bull shooting their second and third shots in the line right here. Free throw good, Jordan. And so Jordan nails both of them. Now James. Kicked away. To the wing right side. Lobbed up there for Thompson. Takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. And he pulls off the Houdini to make that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley -oop. And the crowd got their jaws dropped on that one. Total disbelief. And it's Pippen missing. LeBron against Pippen. And it's out of bounds. The Cavaliers able to retain possession here. And a minute played as the second half gets going. LeBron dishes to Thompson. Thompson sets the pick for James. Find the shoot. LeBron James throwing it down is a thing of beauty. An incredible athlete who makes Duncan look as easy as it can look. Stolen by Clarkson. The Cavaliers trail by 21. Good. Kicks to LeBron. He feeds it to Love. The screen from Thompson. And the seven foot one Bill Cartwright extends for the rebound. Hooked away and stolen by LeBron. Pippen with the steal. One on one fast break. Uh, Pippen slams it in. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there. Right? <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some mixed in offense. Yeah, I remember CA as an irritant. This guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. A screen from Thompson. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It goes on Horace Grant. Oh, the, the officials are all over that. Clearly a foul. I mean, you didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you gotta play without fouling. Green's checked in for the Bulls. Chicago leading by 21. Here's Jordan. Here's Cartwright. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. And it's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. The screen from Thompson. They set the pick. Thompson, a screen on green. Off the pick. And Grant sends it back. And it's out of bounds. The Cavaliers able to retain position here. The Bulls making a switch here. Paxson's checked in. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Kyle Korver, he's checked in for Rodney Hood. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. A shot by Clarkson, no good. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those out. Not much else you can do there. I mean, that's what you want. Too bad they weren't able to finish it off. 
And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Guys, Tristan Thompson has one of the longest consecutive games played streaks in NBA history. He said, the mind's a powerful thing. And if you tell your brain everything is all right, you'd be surprised on the stuff you can achieve. We have the mental toughness to push through our limits. That's how you become great and test yourself as a player. Kevin? Well, David Thompson's certainly a mentally strong player. Always nice to have someone you can rely on night in and night out. Well, it sure is a lot of fun watching Love bury these outside shots. I mean, when he's hitting from deep, it opens up things for everybody. And you just make the assumption that's going down. I mean, an uncontested mid-range jumper, I think he should have buried it. But you know what? He did. It happens. Knocks it loose. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. George Hill's check in for Clarkson. Grant, right side. Short. Good D by Thompson. And the Cavaliers with possession here. Bobbed up here for Thompson. He lobs up the pass. Jordan's shot is off. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Hill kicks to Thompson. Passes it to Court. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Outside Jordan. Pass to Baxter. Back to Jordan. Shoots over Corver, and again, no good by Chicago. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here this quarter. LeBron passes to Thompson. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. James has got the assist number eight now on the night. Back to Jordan. Over Corver, Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got 20 points. And I love the momentum he's building. Last game, he was out. just as dominant. Yeah, I concur. I mean, Sorry. definitely on the roll right now. Seems like everything he's throwing up is going down. And the Cavaliers all time here. Yeah, the amount of points they've given up here in the paint, that, that's what they've got to talk about. Absolutely, Greg. I mean, they're getting crushed, killed, hammered, pulverized in the post. Larry Nance has checked in for the Cavaliers. Jordan with it. Now defended by Corver. And he could not get that one to go. Lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. In a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Chicago. Well, their passing has been picturesque, a thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their baskets have come off assists. Yeah, and also the way they were able to generate points off of the turnovers that they forced tonight has also helped. And the second free throw, good. 122 left in the third. Pick up by Hill, kicks to James. Osmond dreams the three pointer. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three pointers just continue to flow. Yeah, they've had a great second half from long range, Greg. I mean, things are definitely starting to look up for them. The Bulls have only one missed free throw. They've had five attempts and made four of them. Well, you have to like how he's challenging the defense now in the second half. Getting to the line for a lot of free throw opportunity. And they're drawing more muscles and working their way to the line here in the second half. And, and guys, I think it's exactly the right thing to do with the lead. Keep going at the numbers and find a way to get yourself to the line. He has really shot the ball extremely well, as you'd expect. Like we say, he's been making sweet spring music all day long. Nance outside. He kicks to LeBron. Green with the block. Yeah, that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. Scotty Pippen's checked in for Danny Green. Let's check in for the Cavaliers. We've got 28 seconds left to play here in the third. Dreams the three-pointer. Kevin, he didn't hesitate that time. The D gave him a step, and he just pulled up and drained the three. Kevin, there's no stopping him right now. I mean, he's locked in this quarter. This defense has to get the ball out of his hand. Paxson against Hill. Over to the left wing. That's tipped. Pippen with the steal. Here's Paxson. And would have counted had it fallen, but it's offline. And so it's Chicago.
Only a 22-point lead as the quarter wraps up. Welcome back. Fourth quarter action starting up in what has been a one-sided show. The Bulls leading by 22. Vincent is out there with Jordan. Then there's Sellers, then there's Grant, and it's Pippen in the small forward position. That's the five out there for the Bulls. Man, he sure can get off the floor. He's one of the best in the business, absolutely. Boy, he makes it look easy. He is an absolutely imposing finisher around the rim. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. The drive. Hey, 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 what's out there? What's out? My Goodness, that was absolutely filthy. Oh, nasty. This building is stunned. He dug deep, Greg, into his bag of tricks there. Oh, I'd love to get a replay on that one. Let's keep it handy so we can see it again. Oh, and it's the Bulls with the ball. And he can't bank that one in. Osman, right through the knee for the layup. We played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. And Pippen gets it to go. Pippen's got 19 points. <laughs> if you let him get that deep, this is what you can expect. He's not only strong as ammonia down there, he's smart as Einstein, too. Poor effort from the defense. Outside Hill. Left side, Love. Pocket two. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got all the rebounds so far in the game. Cavaliers with the rebound. Love's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Osmond guarded by Jordan and stolen by Jordan. From the free throw, Jordan soaring to the hoop. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there. <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant offense. Yeah, I remember T.A. as an irritant. This guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. Give an assist there, not for the pass, What's but up? for the solid screen set on the inside that freed him up and made the layup possible. Clark, when we talk about the importance of what a player can do, how important is it for a player to know what they cannot do? Very important. Understanding who you are and what your skill set is and how that fits with your team, critically important. Not only knowing it, but then embracing your role within your particular limitations, skill set, and teamwork. The pass to Vincent. From 12 feet out, here's Haslam. And a miss there on the triple. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. To the left side lane. Pass to Zizic. Nance against Hansel. It's stolen by Hansel. To the inside. It's stolen by Nance. Now here's Corver. Tight defense on him. Passes it to Zizic. They get a hand on it. Here's Jordan. Yep, that one goes in there. Jordan's got 34. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Hands the screen. Outside Corver. A three-pointer off the mark. One item that stood out. They're both moving. Things are definitely clicking. And more important. Oh! Oh! He is a highlight reel unto himself. Guys. And that could be a contender for the Junk of the Year, I think. Without question, a crowd pleaser to the 10th degree. This is the corner. And the three ball is good. I love how fast Corver shoots the ball, but doesn't even think about it. Just terrific instincts. Now here's Hill, the fast break opportunity. That's the Zizic. Nance sends a screen for Hill. Nance dishes to Hill. Nance a screen. Moves back up. He takes it up. And time out, time out. A smart, decisive pass inside there. He really made it easy for his teammate. 
time called here, the Bulls decide to talk it over. Clark, the idea of player loyalty has been a topic the last few years. From your view, do you think players have an obligation to stick with the team that drafted them if they can? I like to see that happen, Kevin. I'm a bit of a traditionalist, and personally, I think it's cool to see guys hang with the team that drafted them as long as they can move forward towards their aspirations and goals individually and as a team. I also never begrudge players that after a time decide they'd like to explore a different opportunity with a different team for whatever the reasons might be that drive that. But traditionally and personally, I like to see players be one team of players if all of the circumstances that lend itself to that being productive are in place. Here's Hood, gets the front of the rim and out. The Bulls leading by 22. Here's Jordan, 18 that time from Hood. Fires the three, they grab the run miss. It's hard work and soft hands, guys. That, that's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there, going for the tip in. But that's the way to go if you've got good position. Jordan, the pass to Vincent. Back to Jordan. And counted and a chance for one more at the free throw line. And he can smell blood in the water. Excellent pitch. Yeah, no let up. The killer instinct on display trying to put this team away. I love the tenacity. Kyle Corford is checked in for James. The NBA has a concerted effort to lower the amount of back-to-back -back games for the players. Uh, Clark, should they stretch out the season even further? No, the ideal solution, Kevin, would be to reduce the number of games, to cut a month off the season. That would be the way to get to where we need to get to. The season should be 66 to 70 games. It should be spaced out over a six-month period. And if you cut 12 to 16 games, then you would be able to actually get fewer number of back-to-back. -back. Stretching the season out longer, to me, is not the answer. Reducing the number of games would be the best way to get to the solution. But that toothpaste is out of the two. I don't know if we can ever get it back in. The drive by Jordan somehow ignores the tight D and gets the layup. Jordan's got 45 points. And, and that's a killer instinct on display as they try to put this one on ice. And, you know, this is what's needed at this point in the game, Greg. The great teams know how to close it out. The clock now can just run out for the Bulls. Now the pass to Vincent. Back to Jordan. And the layup's good off the glass. Jordan's got 47 points. Major dominance, and it comes so easily for him. Fantastic at getting to his spots on the floor. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.